Hey, what's up everyone? It's your friend 23 here, and welcome back to a new episode of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. In the last episode, we finally upgraded our heart containers. We had 12 uh, shrine things to to give. And also we upgraded our uh, sage, our tooling. And also we haven't been in this well earlier, which is bad. <laughs> this has been here all the time. So let's just uh, explore this while I'm gonna go over what we're gonna do in these episodes. Oh, a new well also needs. Are, are you here? Uh, the one that gives me money for each well oh. I have found? Hey, it's you. I'm fascinated by the many old wells across Hyrule. But n new wells are pretty interesting too, like oh. this one. Oh, have you come to tell me about the location of more wells you found? Yep, got more for you. Ma. Thanks, so 19 of them this time. Uh, I'll give you 10 rupees per location, that's 190 for you. So how many do we have now? Ah. Like 34, so we're <laughs> more than we more than double that we have found. And almost double that we have found already is left. So two thirds, huh? Uh, so last episode we also completed, uh, you see the gear I have on me. It's the full uh, falling control sky mobility. Skydive uh, mobility gear, which is nice. So now we're really, we have really good. Uh, oh. Can this be a gear actually? Now it's just a sword, huh? But a pretty good sword, to be honest. So I will drop it for that. I guess we're done here, but why not ascend through this? Ah, like we get here, huh? That's that's fun. Okay, so let's check what we what we can do in today's episode. Uh, let's go to the adventures logs. We have some. Uh, I know we have some uh, memories left, but we also have uh, we have a lot of things to do. So I'm actually thinking because when we did the sky towers yesterday. Uh, before we decided to do that, I was actually going to this great ferry here, the last one. Uh, but I wanted the sky mobility so we could like travel easier that way. But I'm gonna start with going to Hateno village. Just to get the last uh, upgrade on my travel medallion. So just grab these apples here. Hey. Uh, also a new quest, maybe. Hey you! We have more work to do. Your Pura Pad is nowhere near its full capability yet. To which feature do you want to add? Travel Medallion. What? You got the data? Hurry up and let me see the Pura Pad. We have never used... Um, like, Travel Medallion that you can put out your own uh, teleports. Uh, unbelievable, with that I fully upgraded the travel medallion feature. Considering it a great honor awarded to you for your extensive travels. Thank you. Do you have anything new to give me maybe? Or is this done? Completed. At last your pure pad is perfect, but that means you're perfect. That is the objective truth, I'm very pleased to say. Because with all of that you'll make infinitely better progress in your search for Princess Zelda. Now when you find Princess Zelda, be sure to tell her you couldn't have done it without my Pura Pad improvements. That's it, huh? I wanna see also how many things I have left in my companion. Hey you, you're sure interested in complete companion, aren't you? It's perfect, so I don't blame you. Can I buy pictures? So 65... Fawn, I guess that's animal, birds and insects, yeah. Enemies, 44. We have so much still. But only two other pictures, so huh? that's nice. But I'm nowhere complete. Nowhere of being near on completing that companion. Oh my god, why is it so many apple trees here? Let me them down quickly. And then we're gonna also go and um, plant something in the in the planting field. 
or farm, <laughs> what's it called? Oh my god, how long, far away can the apples roll? Um, I was, I'm gonna leave one tree, but I saw it was two here, so I'm gonna take them both. Ah, rice. Oh, is this actually a wind burst? Then we don't wanna waste the durability on that in unnecessary. I like the wind burst on my weapons. It's so nice that almost every tree here is apple trees. to check my stamina there. Oh, is this a golden one? Very nice. And my farm has yielded something at least. Well, if it isn't, ain't Professor Link. Thanks for being so patient. What do you think? They're tasty looking, aren't they? I was happy to tend them for you, Professor Link. It's all the same to me what you do with the produ produce we grow here. And if you want to grow something else, let me know. Worse. Gimme, gimme, gimme. And I want to plant something new. Means a lot that you have leave the care and tending to the field to me. If, if there's any kind of crop you need, you're for your journey, Professor Link. You can count on me to grow it up, right? Just talk to me whenever you decide what you want for this field to be useful. Yeah, <laughs> that's why I'm talking to you. Uh, plant something else. Okay. A big hearty radish. Yes, please. With that done... Mm -mm -mm. That out of the way. The hell is this? Oh yeah, I remember. Well, we have so many side quests that we need to start doing soon. Let's check the side adventures. I know what we're gonna do, but I'm just gonna... Okay. What we're gonna do is complete the Great Fairy quest line, so go here. And I also think that by completing the Great Fairy quest line, we should have almost found every stable after that as well. Okay, so it could be good to stop actually here on the way. Just to get that picture taken. So where would that be first of all? Don't tell me it's above. Oh, it's up there, huh? That's really high up. And what is that thing? Actually, here we have water, so we could change to this. <laughs> and from here, we could actually build a car and just go there. But I also wonder what that thing is. Have we been there? We have not been there. That actually looks super interesting. I'm just gonna go and grab the chest, I guess. Also, what is this? Ah, oh, it's those uh, snails.
Nice. Is it for the depths also? We still haven't come to those crosses. We have four now. That's the thing with this game, it's... You always have a lot of things to do. But somehow it also feels like you have nothing to do sometimes. Maybe it's just that you that I get overwhelmed by all the choices. Uh, okay. I know I'm pretty strapped on Sonai at the moment, so I'm gonna use materials to build this. And hopefully it will take us all the way up there. Yeah, no problem. And I wonder, should we just, while, while we're up here, also go to the other place there? Because it looked super nice. And why I really wanted my car to actually be on this platform. Because that, I was gonna say, that makes it easier for me to <laughs> break. Okay. So I guess we're not gonna go to that thing in this episode. <gasps> that I'm gonna try to get catch though. And why we have a car, why not just use it? It's actually quicker than just falling. And that's super sus. You see this stone right here? I really, really have a feeling that this is a uh, Koroko. Nice. And also, is this like a in cave entrance? And also, all this loot. Very nice. Have I snapped a picture on this? Yes. Oh, what the hell is this? I guess you're gonna offer some apples. Is there were an apple in the one in the middle? Ah, it was just a Koropa. Okay. So where did the car go? Huh? I'm not sure, maybe someone can answer in the comments. Um, does the Sage upgrade also make like, the active ability stronger? So Tulin's Wind, will it take me further per, per use? Okay, let's just clear this camp. Oh my god, that's bad. That's really bad. Why not? Oh, here we should change clothes. I'm really not used to having things with a lot of armor here. Wow. Because yeah, that might have actually killed me if I didn't change my armor. I need to eat also. Now I've taken a lot of damage. Actually, been a while since we did some fighting. <laughs> like almost the full oh my god the last episode was no fighting at all can I just please not be in the middle of you two that would help me greatly actually and also a little better weapon makes this all much easier yeah I saw that it was such a bad hit of taking no yeah <laughs> Thank you, fairy. <laughs> I, I'm, I don't understand why I don't heal. Why, why do I wait so long on heal? Well, now that costed me a, a fairy, which is not so fun. Hell 
this out. Looks like the best bow I have ever seen. Well, random place to to have that in a in a chest here. Okay, so I guess the car is gone. So I have lost it somehow. But I think it's okay because from here we can actually just glide. Almost all the way. And what the hell is that? Such a... So many things that I'm just <laughs> in awe. What is this? Let me see. Now it's gone also. A part of me wanna land here just to see what it is. Is it some loot? Ah, it's just freaking silent rooms, huh? That was a waste. Why are you here, dude? Taste the master sword, please. Oh my, don't use that bow, please. That be a scot. <laughs> At least, I was not sh expecting that. Really thought that was a headshot. Wow. That's actually great timing. Boom. Looked a bit scuffed. Like, first he didn't die and... Then a couple frames later he decided, yeah, okay, I took too much damage there. This could actually be a great spot for uh, Roko. Also this beer right here, hello. Are you doing this fine evening? Or day? I want something that makes me one-shot you. Should have snapped a picture on him before. That's a bit too late now. Oh. I see I see the stable in the distance there, which is nice. But first we need to plan how we should tackle this. Also, why am I using so bad shields? Use this instead. And why not? Uh, I guess against that big dude. Would not be nice to use actually this. <laughs> We're gonna start with playing some damage on the big dude here. So, yeah. I don't like my bows at the moment. That's good damage. Oh no. That broke so f <laughs> so quickly. Freaking tree coming here and joining in on the fun. I just want to do this for the trolls. Can I muddle bud the tree? Yeah. Oh. Maybe I can if I don't have the worst aim. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> That's actually pretty fun. Let's just take care of this for now. I thought... Yes, fire something they're weak against. And also, can I use the... Thank you. Boom. No. It's 
I just take the damage. Nice with the golden apple also. That should be enough, yes. I guess fire should make those go away. Yes, we're gonna go to the stable first here. And then we can backtrack up to the shrine. We're probably gonna talk to the stable trotters here and then we're gonna also gonna need to leave this place. That's usually how it goes. So let's just explore the well here. So we have that one. What the hell? Double? <laughs> Double well? That's weird. Some, oh, nice. This place we should actually put out on the map. Oh, well, it's the well that has it, so we should just do that and star. Good things here. Uh, it's this place and also the one just under lookout landing, you know, the big cave thing uh, where the devil statue is. I, I must remember to go there more often, like when it's a blood moon I should just go there and, and clear all the wars and then continue on. That would make us a lot of money I think. Well I guess let's jump down one more here. What the hell? Berries? Nice, let me... Get some sneak cloth on. Nice, nice. I think that was all. Also, tireless frog. Is that something I have taken a picture on? This is always good loot to have some extra. And these frogs I will not be able to take. This one. Okay. Am I like directly inside the stable here? Start with uh, giving me pony point. Oh. Ah. Hmm. Oh. Well, well, traveler, welcome to Dueling Peak Stable, right at the foot of the Dueling Peaks themselves. If you need guide to the roads around here, I can let you know what, what's what. Ah. Things have changed around here lately, haven't they? Even the towns are different. There's been a lot of changes around Kakariko village and Anateno village. Yeah, we have already been there, so I know. Just let me sleep here so I get the next reward. A regular bed. And let's sleep till noon. 
I'll pay, because otherwise I don't get the points. Oh. I think it was just some harness and um, like ah. saddle and oh. the other thing that I don't remember what it's called. If there are wild horses that catches your fancy, please bring it here. If you save ah. up five more points, we'll get an extra horse. Okay. So let's talk to the gloves horses. Also, we want to find uh, our newspaper colleague. actually think that he would have been here because this is a stable I haven't been at. Maybe he will show up later or something. It's just not the same. Aha, I know that face. Yes, that's a face I know. Have you come to meet another great fairy? Yes. Ah, I must be mistaken. I merely assumed because the great fairy Kotera is such a notable attraction to the Dueling Peak stable. Alas, the, loca the local great fairy hasn't emerged from her flower bud in quite some time. I'm sure she's scared to come out, just like the great fairy at Woodland Stamble. She used to listen to the beat's drums so fondly. Hearing his lively beat again will just will be just a thing to cheer her up, but Beat simply isn't here. What a shocker. Beat is a young drummer who plays for the stable trotters, but one day he took his leave from the troop. We haven't seen him since. Oh, there was that traveler who heard a drum somewhere. Where was it again? Maybe near Kakariko village, to the north, where the road bends around Bunoro's stand. Okay. Kakariko village. Which is there. Something stand. Armor shop, inn, general store. Sundrum near the road, road south of Bonoro's stand. I guess someone there is... Maybe it's the one that sells like uh, those round things. Uh, uh, just gonna see if I can see the... My flying colleague here. I guess not. Okay, so I'm gonna... I guess climb, but not really climb because I see the waterfall here, so we can use that to speed things up here. And also, what the hell? Oh, that's Kakariko. No, not Kakariko. Uh, Koroko. Ah, I know what to do here. Let's take one of these out. This should be enough. Oh, goddamn. Of course. Hmm. What happens if I attach two of them? Yep. Nice. So fishies, please. I guess not. Oh my god! Let's swim up. It's nice that they put uh, put that there for me. It made this a whole lot nicer, actually. Jump is a bit. Finally, we're up. Oh, my God. 
yeah. <laughs> well, they wanted me to be here really early in the game, I guess. Like this text, you should be able to skip it, if you want. Because it's so slow. And then, yes, I know. So do they want me to parry? Yes, so. And also, maybe not. Oh. Maybe I needed this training. That was almost. I actually need this train because I never use shield and parry in, in my gameplay. That's why I take so much damage. He's juking me with the slow ascend here. And now. Now I pressed perfect, I think. And press. That was way early. Why am I so bad? Yeah, I needed this training, I guess. How perfect do I need to be? I blame the shield, I blame the shield. I don't blame the shield. <laughs> The freak. Maybe I need to use this one. That mo oh, okay. I shouldn't stand that close because that's a projectile. Okay. Awkward. But it's easier to parry from here, of course, of course. Okay, so with Electro, you can't use the Metallic Shield. Two of you are gonna start. You're gonna start, huh? Oh my god. Oh, nice. Perfect. Depth perception. Where is it? Actually, here it could be good to take these weapons actually and go to Terry Town and pay the dude to like break the fuse. Because then we get the ruby and a topaz. So before we go to Kakariko village, I saw a thing on the map I was a bit curious about. If you watch here. Okay, nothing. That was just that, of course. Then let's go to Kakariko village. We need to find a person called Bunuru. And I think like a stand. Because these are more huts or buildings. Like this is a stand, I would say. Coco. Bunuru's stand. 
south of Bonoro stand. So the town is like this. There is Bonoro stand. Okay. South of that. We have heard some drums. Then I guess we're gonna build the car. Dragons are out also. I guess we, we're going to go to Bonoro stand. Oh. And then we just have to listen for the drums, I guess. We just park here for a second. Oops. Uh, there. A traveler from Kakariko village heard the sound of a drum near the road south of Panorza. Okay, so close to the road, huh? Ah, uh, we even have a... Okay. So we don't even have to really search for it. We have a spot on the map on where we're going. I just wanna... I think this is a boss fight. Like those one-eyed dudes, but as a skeleton. I'm feeling up for that challenge. Wake up. What do I need to do to wake you up? Do I need to hit you, maybe? Wake you up with an explosion. Like, I see the horn on him, so I know that this is an active enemy. Doesn't seem like he wants to fight today. Can I do anything? Can I fuse this thing directly here? No. And I have no clue how to wake this dude up. <laughs> now the music changed, I feel like. I tried to start that fight, but he didn't really want to. But let me just... Because um, I want to go back to him someday. Hopefully he will fight me next time we go, get, go there. I think here at the tent is where we're going. And also this waterfall feels a bit sus. Probably something beneath, behind it. That's a perfect landing. Badum 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 yeah. Come on badum badum. Buzzab. Okay, what are you doing? Whoa. Hey hey, don't interrupt. I'm busy calling bees with my beat. Come on, don't look at me like that. I know it's goofy, but I gotta try. See, the conductor in this musical troupe uh, I play in has been a little down. I figured I'd make him honey crepes. That should cheer up Master, right? Uh, but I can't get my hand on any coarser bee honey. How am I supposed to make honey crepes without the honey? That's why I'm trying to lure some bees with my beat. All I need are three combs of honey. I think I have two. Let's see how many we have. I have 
I have three. Nice. So here you go. Uh, with these, I can whip up honey crep for the conductor of my troop on the double. Here's a little something for helping me. Take it. It's all yours. Thank you. What did you say? The stable trotters are back in action? Then what am I doing here? They need me to bring the, the riddle. I don't know where they are, but if I hit up every single stable, I run into them sooner or later. It shouldn't be long before I can offer the troop leader my service hey. again. Well, until next time. If there's a next time, see you. Well, we can just tell you where the, they are, because we know. I will leave the car for now, because I'm... I'm sensing it might be something here. And also this. What are they? I want to snap a picture on them. Nothing, huh? That's a bummer. And then my thinking is like, are we done here or should we keep exploring for a bit? Here we have some enemies. So something tells me that this loot should be good. This, this place felt a bit random actually. Okay. I'm gonna start with the sneak here for the first attack. There's a lot of enemies here. For this guarding this chest. We're able to do that once again. I know this can be pretty tanky with uh, with that horn. Yeah, these are tank. If I can get this dude into the. Oh my. I really don't hit your shield, but sure. Bring shield I don't think I need. I don't want uh, that dude to go into the water. At least... Whoa. I didn't see that coming. Can we let this purse... Oh my god. Okay, now I'm gonna die. Yeah. <laughs> Why did I just take that damage? Okay. We will need the construct bow. Was there any else? Is this also mighty? That's a strong, but that's also good. That was not maybe my cleanest performance, I would say. Not at all. All that guarding for three springs. It's a bit weird. That's the longest spear I have ever seen. Can I take one of them from you? Ah, maybe not. I could have been a Karoko. I'm not sure if we have anything else to do here. And also, why is that glowing? We've been to that thing. There we have it. And I think I know what what it is. <sighs> and we're actually back at the stable here. And inside here, I have been and somehow thought it would been too dangerous. I 
fucking... I'm not gonna clear a cave if it's Blood Moon any second here. This could actually be a Kuroko. It's not. Maybe taking a horse or something. All this way. That's. Oh, is that actually. Oh. Or it might be. Somewhere we fighted earlier. Like, really early in the game. Because I'm like, how can I have been here? When I didn't. haven't found the stable before. And well, I could have such been a Karoko's place. But maybe it's here? I knew I had a feeling that a Kuroko would exist somewhere here. And here you are, huh? This one can actually... might be pretty easy. I think that actually will be enough. Can we talk? Ah! Try letting go. Uh, let's go. He won't fall, he won't fall. It's okay. Yes? Ah. So, is it 20 rupees you get from ah! this? I don't remember. Yeah. Pasta food and it's usually bomb barrels, but sometimes something else. Yeah. Ah. Thank you. You're off and I'm off. That hill looks a bit sus. Maybe it's just a hill. I guess it's just a hill, huh? Yeah. Also this... Could be some type of... Could be some type of Kuroko. But maybe not. Super looks like it though. Like you put a stone or something there. Okay, so we're gonna talk to these dudes first. So I was like, is that the bird? Where is the bird then? Okay, ah, there's the man of the hour. Look at this, or rather listen. It's Beats, our stalwart drummer. Beats has returned. A sorry troop leader I am, making my band members worry about me that way. What they really ought to be worried about is our declining audience. But the beating heart of the stable trotters pulses one more. Three cheers for our Beats. Every member is essential for our signature sound. Together, we are not just the stable trotters. In my heart, we'll always be the stable gallopers. You have been so... You have done so much for us, I hardly know where to begin. Let me start with this. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And thank you. That's five thank yous from the five balls. May our performance let the great fairies know all travelers. No, no, let everyone in the world be awash in sweet, soothing music. I'm brimming over with happiness to the point that I can't keep a lid on it. And I must say, it's good to see a friendly face, one who no doubt shares my concern for the Great Fairy. Great Fairy? Ah, I must be mistaken. I merely assume because the Great Fairy Terra is such a notable attraction to Dueling Peak Stable. I know where it is. 
I just want you to get on the cart so we can go there. I'm skipping that text because... Yeah, 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 yeah. Yo, if the bridge is no good, how about we cross the river? That's right, we can cross the river. Okay, to the river, everyone. Uh, I'm sure the Great Fairy will give you her blessing when she wakes up. If you have the time, I'd be honored if you could be there for our performance, of course. Do I need to take you over the river? Yep. Okay. So here we have to be a bit careful, I think, because... I think the cart can bring too much weight if we're not careful. So what do we have here? We have some batteries. I'll take these fishies. They were also something I haven't caught before. That's an ugly picture. Okay, so we have that. Do we have anything that makes things float easier? What is this? Danger, severe damage has made crossing has serious, especially for horses. Yeah, that makes sense. We have some flying devices. Wait, what are you doing? Please do not do anything strange like that our dear Breezer. Oh, we should just... Okay. So we don't take the Breezer with us. We just build some type of boat. And if that's the case, then I guess this should be enough. Let's just talk to, to him and see what he says. The bridge is a bust, but I thought it might not be so hard to cross the river. I see now that I was mistaken. Even if we took off our breezer's wheel and floated across the river, the current would run that plan aground. The Great Fairy is so near, yet so far. I have absolutely no idea what to do. <sighs> yeah, I know the Great Fairy is there. You've told me four times now. The bridge is no use. Yeah, we know. Let me... Our base was built for turning roads, not rivers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If we try to ford it, we'll all sink before we reach the Great Fairy side. Can I... Now I can move it on. Well, I guess if we... If we're th thinking a bit here, if we put this... It's like that. And then actually under... Oh. Underneath. We put it upside down. If we put a fan... Like going upwards. To make it more like a hovercraft. Maybe that's something we should do. Is that center? No. Oh. And now we have a lot of weight. In the back. So if we do that and then... Center this more in the middle there. Something like that. And then... Where should I stand with the steering? Maybe to the side here. So if we... What the hell is happening? So will that float? That's the question. It actually looks like it floats. The bridge is passed. Yes, yes, yes. Open, I'll take you. I hope this contraption will work. Ah, it's actually pretty smooth. They 
are a spoiled bunch, these people here. I wonder if this is enough or if I really need to... Yeah, this is enough. The Great Fairy. Places, everyone. Uh, places. The Great Fairy needs us. Now oh, that's what I call a symphony. Where is he having his hand inside the trumpet? the moons. Yeah, hoo -hoo. Ooh, we've done it. Mm. Yowza. I think my heart just picked up on the tempo. <laughs> the musical styling of the stable trotters are the cure for anyone's malice. Thank you again. Thank you once again. I prepared a token of thanks so substantial that I hope your pockets are double stitched. You deserve every last bit of it. Yeah, yeah. He made it sound like I would get a much bigger reward here in the end. Uh, and now, but I only got 100. And now that my own pockets are lighter, I can concentrate on the performance. Uh -huh. Our musical troupe has finally performed for all the great fairies. I'm moved, I'm inspired, I'm beside myself with joy. Ah. Thank you so much for not giving up on forging, giving up and for forging on, despite all the obstacles. Every time the great fairies emerged in response to our music, it gave all of us in the troupe confidence in our playing. Mm -hmm. If you ever want to hear my beats, stop by a stable. If we're there, I'll give you a rhythm to remember. Ooh. The show is not over, far from it, we're just getting started. We'll keep playing and making audiences smile all over the kingdom. I have a feeling like this was a questline you should have done really, really early in the game. <laughs> it's up to us to pour all of our thought and feelings into our music when we play. From now on, I want our music to soothe every traveler who comes to the stable, not just the great fairies. Oh? I consider you an honorary member of our grand stable trotters troop. Might I know your name? <laughs> Haven't they gotten my name yet? Link! Um, so that's what we can call the hero who saved our grand troop. Yeah, yeah. I remember that. I surely will remember. Our grand troop will continue playing for one and all under a new name. We are the stable trotters no yeah, more. Yeah. In honor to this genuine hero, let us be known as stable heroes. Yes, if you want to change your name, do it. I don't really care. Oh, what a feeling. The first breath of fresh air. It's just so intoxicating. The beat of the drum has lit a fire deep in my heart. Mm. And what about you? Can you feel the heat? Are you ready for more? Allow me to enhance your clothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah. Mm? Now we have the money to, to enhance this, mm. so I will do it. What happened? It's a maybe a different animation when you do that upgrade. Look, with this level of quality, it's hardly recognizable. Do you want me to en enhance any of your other clothes? Mm. Yes, please. Mm. Mm. I will uh, cut through this until I'm done, so you all know. Mm. So I'm, I'm back and uh, now we're too low on amber for these two but now we have some good uh, loot actually or not loot I mean uh, gear 
Because if we take that one with this and this, then we have 14 in defense, which is great compared to what we had earlier, at least. Okay, so now we're done with that whole quest line, huh? Oh, something we should have done when we was at Kakariko village was talking to the professor that we have the pictures on. Uh, that we've taken the pictures for, so we're gonna go and do that quickly here also. That house looks like a smiling face. Okay, dude, I have some, finally some uh, pictures for you. Well, did you find a stone tablet? According to the stone tablet at Lookout Landing, we have 12 tablets oh. left to find. If you happen to find more stone tablets on your travels, get some kind of visual evidence of them and show it to me. I'll make sure there's a nice reward in it for you. Here's our pictures. <laughs> I knew you could do it. I'm excited to get a look on this. Interesting, I get right to translating. Oh, aha, incredible. Oh. It's first hand, hand Hy Hyrulean history. Here's what the original text mm. says. The king was late to come this even. Oh, oven. Oh, so make the queen to Sharon tales of her and shrines all green yuglin. Oh my god. Of earlier <laughs> And he translated it for me, because now I'm just skipping oh. the text. I walk you through this. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm not gonna read the ancient text because it's so scuffed. Uh, the subject here is the actions King Rauru and Queen Sonya undertook not long after Hyrule's founding. Mm. With the kingdom established, they were worried for their people, so they set out to er er eradicate the monsters troubling them. They created structures called Shrines of Light to seal the monsters away so that they could never be revived. There's more hear about light and time too. The sense I get is that the two of them may have had supernatural powers, ah. though it's part of ancient history. It's a feat those of us living today should still be grateful for. Truly an important discovery. Thank you, Link, and I have, haven't forgotten about your reward. Okay, so ah. this just gives us money, huh? The thought of such incredible historical artifacts falling down all of Hyrule is so exciting. According to the stone tablet at Lookout Landing, we have 11 left. Do you have any others? Yes. <laughs> hmm. I'll get started translating right away. Ah yes, I see now what we have here. Oh. A first-hand historical account. Here's what the original text mm. says. Okay, so I'm gonna skip the original text and read his translation instead. Oh. Ah, so King Rara's older sister was named Mineru. Ah. Here we learn a bit about Mineru. It says that she's neglected to eat or sleep while making something called a construct. It was part of her research into means of returning to life as a spirit possessing a new body. Should her original one die? Mm. To you or I, this sounds less like history and more like a sort of ghost story. But remember who we're dealing with. They may have had unfathomable powers that made such things possible. The revelation that Minaru was a fellow researcher makes her feel like a kindred spirit to me, and ah. yet the Chamberlain who inscribed this stone tablet treats Minaru with such care and kindness that it warms my heart. Very good, I thank you. Not just with words, but with this as well. Okay. Ah. So now we have 10 left. I know we have some more mm. pictures here. Where should I display this one? Maybe on the wall over here. Godness, this is the place. Could use a tidying up. I'm gonna keep like give, handing him in the ah. pictures. Thank you for being with me. I put what you brought me over there. Where is that? Ah. Mm. You're welcome to, to come and have a look at the research lab wall anytime. Thank you. Oh. If you find any more stone tablets, please do document them with a picture so I can see. Of course I will do that. Oh, they have started to, to learn something here. And also, she isn't where she used to be. Um, 
But looking at the time, we have run out of it for this episode. If you enjoyed today's episode, please consider liking the video and also subscribe to the channel. This has been 23. I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.